What's going on people? My name is Antoine, this is ATM Tech and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering the age old question, just how much faster does a 25 watt charger charge the S21 FE over the standard 15 watt charger? So this year, Samsung decided not to include a charger in the box, so you're left with a decision to make. The S21 FE does support up to 25 watt charging, but is it worth shelling out the money for the 25 watt charger, or should you just use the 15 watt charger that you probably already have lying around? In this video, we're going to see the difference, and that should hopefully help you decide whether it is worth shelling out the extra cash. So as it stands right now, the official 25 watt charger is available for £17 directly from Samsung. That is just the brick without the cable. You do get the cable in the box with the S201 FE, so that's okay. There are other options available in places like Amazon from the likes of Anchor, but if you do prefer to use official chargers, you are looking at £17. Now, depending on how you look at it, £17 isn't a great deal of money, but when you consider that all these years when you buy a phone, you get a charger included in the box, I think these days it's more about principle than cost itself. But by the end of this video, you'll see the difference and you can decide whether it's worth it for you or not. So coming up to the 15 minute mark, let's take a look. So with the 25 watt charger, you're looking at 27% and with the 15 watt charger, it's just 17%. But let's see how things progress. So if you don't already know, the S21 FE is Samsung's answer to a smartphone that provides flagship type performance, but for a much more affordable price point. This phone does come with a 4,500 milliamp battery, so it's pretty sizable. And from my time using it, I'm able to get through a full day pretty comfortably. So let's fast forward and take a look at the half hour mark. So the 25 watt charger has the phone at 51% and the 15 watt charger has it at 35%. So you can see the gap is starting to widen. It's interesting because Samsung nearly always quotes their super fast charging to be 50% battery after 30 minutes and in this case it's almost to the second. It is worth pointing out that fast chargers do the majority of their charge in the first half hour or so and then after that it does slow down a little bit. So if you've only got time to charge your phone for about 30 minutes, it's not really worth trying to squeeze out another 10 minutes or so if you're really pressed for time. But let's fast forward to the 45 minute mark and take a look at where we're at. So after 45 minutes, the 75 watt charger is sitting at exactly 75%. Whereas the 15 watt charger is only at 54%. So it seems as though the last 15 minutes or so, both phones charged at roughly the same rate. So there are definitely other brands and other phones that have way, way, way faster charging. The thing with those phones that charge mega fast is those charging bricks tend to cost quite a bit more money. So if you lose it or if you want to spare one, it's quite a bit more to replace. But not only that, if you get used to having a full charge in half an hour, you're not going to want to go back to a regular charger. It's going to be absolutely painful. So I think Samsung's 25 watt super fast charging is kind of the, the middle ground. So let's fast forward to the one hour mark. So the 25 watt charger is almost there at 92% while the 15 watt charger is sitting at 71%. To be honest, if an hour is all you've got, then 92% is more than enough to get you through your day. 71% is fine, but it's definitely a long way from a full charge. So we're just checking in again at the 72 minute mark. The 25 watt charger is at 98% and the 15 watt charger is at 85%. So it looks like it's gonna be any minute now for the 25 watt charger. And if we fast forward just a touch, it looks like the 25 watt charger has completed charging the S21 FE at 74 minutes and 49 seconds. But let's see how the 15 watt charger is varying. At 78 minutes, we're at 91%. And then I'm gonna put you out your misery and fast forward right to the end. And it's taking the 15 watt charger 93 minutes and 47 seconds to charge the phone from zero to full. So there you are, there's roughly an 18 minute difference between the two types of charger to charge your phone from zero to 100%. Now these charging times will vary among the Samsung range, but if you've got the S21 FE, then you know exactly what you're getting. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much. And if you could just do me a favor, go down in the comments below and let me know whether you think it's worth shelling out for the 25 watt charger, or if you'd be happy just sticking with the 15 watt charger. But that's enough from me. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.